I'm Erica. And I'm Ken. And we're, and we're Dimension, Dimension the, the Dot. Dot. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for coming along. We got a uh, great weekend of sales. These are the sales that have sold as of Sunday afternoon. It's almost 1 p.m. here Central Time. So how much did we have going out? I think I sent you some numbers for you to calculate there. Oh, I logged so these, out of there. So, let me so get... these are gross sales. Uh, 1400 plus. 1400 plus. I think 1476 or something right right around there. So we'll definitely shoot over 1500 by tomorrow morning. It was a good weekend of sales. We're continuing our streak. We are trying to do at least 1500 gross sales um, every single week. And we've been doing it. We've been finding better things. We've been finding, we've been doing the sell through rate like we tell you guys about, and it's been panning out for us. So don't be afraid to do it. Absolutely. And today we're just going to recap some items that sold for over $20. Uh, we had, we still have quite a few uh, little small sales, but we're, we're going to skip right over those, you know, $12, $15 sales and uh, just show you some of the highlights. So uh, you want to start? Sure, I'll start. First up is Lady Rebel by Durango Women's Boots, and they sold for $30 plus ship. You know and we love our boots we, here in Texas. And these are them right here. Super nice, cute, decent condition. So these sold, these are going out 30 bucks plus ship. So that's a great little sale. And they're probably about three pounds, so we paid $6 for them. Okay, so the next piece is not a great brand, but it's a great piece from the brand. This is Liz and Me. Oh, I love that jacket. Um, it's a plus size brand for uh, women. And it's a corduroy floral print, zip up, really nice. It's sold for $22 plus ship. Such Halloween and fall vibes on this. And this is probably about two pounds, so we paid about four bucks. All right, now next up for me, I've got a lot of two Deadwood, the complete series. I believe these are sealed. Yes. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we'll just insert a little thing right there for you. And that was season two and three. So um, if you're picking up a DVD or even comic books, don't be afraid to go out of sequence in terms of uh, you know getting a couple of sets that maybe don't start with uh, season one. They still sell and those sold really quick for us. Yeah, they did actually. And we paid 50 cents each. Yep. 50 cents a piece and that was again $22.50. So there you go. Not bad. <laughs> uh, the next item uh, Erica found just a couple of days ago at the Goodwill Bins. Um, it's a soft surrounding cap gap. New attacks, and that is awesome. We've never found soft surroundings new attacks. This sold for $45 uh, plus ship. And the retail price on that, you guys, was $160. It's a very beautiful piece. It's all beaded here. And like I, you know, insert. <laughs> we'll, we always will insert the, um, the screenshot for you guys. So that's an awesome sale. Yeah, that probably cost us about a buck fifty. It wasn't quite two pounds. And it was beautiful too. Okay, next up on me, on my account. Sorry guys, we just came, Ken just get, came from storage and pulled all these items so we can start packing them up. So I gotta find this thing. Oh, here it is. This is something I found and I was blown away that this sold. This is a Bucky shirt. It's 4th of July. So somebody's celebrating 4th of July in September. I'm not sure who, but this sold for $22.50. This weighs eight ounces. So pretty cool little sale here. It's got the hamburger. So I was happy. $22.50 yeah. for this guy. About a buck turned into $22.50. We uh, buy, as you'll see um, in some of our next videos and some older videos, 50 plus pounds at the Goodwill bins gives it to you for $1.99 per pound on clothing. And that's uh, what we generally pay. Um, next up, here's a brand I never uh, found before. I don't know if I'll ever find it again. Because, well, maybe uh, one of these days, <laughs> but it was cool. Uh, Manier de Bois. Uh, seems like a French brand. Very cool cargo um, pants here. To check out those pockets. And then um, around oh, like the ankle, they um, get a little tight around the ankle there. So we just 
thought these were cool looking and uh, looked them up. And a helpful hint, if you're out there inside the wild, look up cargo pants. Um, I always say cargo pants and overalls are always worth looking up. It uh, doesn't matter what brand. I thought this might be like an Amazon kind of style brand. Um, but no, it's a decent brand and we sold for $28 plus shipping. They were all in for over $40. Wow, that's a good one. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Let's see, Daisy. I don't know what's been going on with eBay, you guys, but it's been running super slow <laughs> for some reason. Um, I'll go ahead and fill oh, in. Oh, I while... got it here. Okay, oh, you got it? next up. I sold these pants. Now these actually got returned to us once. These are free people, gold dust printed wide leg pants. Beautiful pants actually. Oh yeah, look how wide those legs are. <laughs> so cool. Um, those are really in trend right now, wide leg um, flare. Uh, so anything wide leg flare we pick, pick up. up. And free people we almost pick up. All the time. So those sold for $20.40 plus ship. So that's good, and probably about a pound or less. Yeah. So that's a great sale. The next uh, brand I picked up was an outdoor brand. Uh, we'll go show, the, show you the thumbnail. It's called Bell Staff, and this is a great brand. This sold for $20, even though the zipper was broken. And I disclosed what? right there inside the uh, title, broken zipper. So $20 for this puffer jacket with a broken zipper. And they paid uh, almost $12 in shipping. Wow. Okay, next up on my account, I have a Hank Whoa. Mobley record. It sold for $51, you guys. We paid 50 cents. Sold for $51. We told you in our other videos, don't sleep on the record. Don't sleep on jazz. That's a, <laughs> that's a jazz album. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, really high ticket jazz albums, especially if you could get some blue notes and mono. Uh, so look out for the blue note label in jazz and especially the mono records. Blue and we'll, we'll show you the screenshot somewhere yeah. around here. Uh, I don't think that one was mono, but if it was mono, it probably would have went for uh, upward to $300. Uh, next up, it's another record. This one was shattered, it was broken. However, we had all the pieces. We found all the pieces inside the Goodwill bins. We didn't break it ourselves. <laughs> Actually, um, I did, remember? Well, you- I dropped it a second that, time and yeah, broke it into three pieces. That's another story. <laughs> well, anyway, there's two pieces. It was missing a big chunk. And um, I, I, I shipped it through the bins, found the extra piece. And then while we were checking out, Erica dropped that again and it broke into three pieces. <laughs> Uh, but still, in three pieces, this record sold for $75. It's um, a 78 RPM Elvis Presley early uh, pressing. So, 75 bucks. Definitely look out for those Sun labels when it comes to the 78 RPM records. Uh, they're worth some good money. This would have been worth probably close, closer to $250, $300 if it wasn't broken. Someone's going to buy that. They're going to repair it with either some super glue or they're going to weld it together and they're gonna you know get a three hundred dollar two two three hundred dollar record for 75 bucks so good for that that's awesome okay next up on my account i found a round tree i sold a round tree in york gold label now normally we don't pick this brand up but this was new with tags like all folded perfect and that sold for 25.50 that was another return we sold it once before the people didn't like it they sent it back and it sold immediately so don't be afraid to accept returns and then just relist the item because that's something that we do all the time and it usually works out for us. Yeah, yeah, more often than not, we resell it again. Uh, you know, do pay attention to the returns and uh, make sure you know why it was returned. Now, if it was a, a hole that you missed or something, maybe you don't want to put it back up. Well, sure. But um, in that case, it just didn't fit. I'm all done with the items on my account, so I'm gonna jump on your account I'm going to start from the bottom. $20.80 Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, little purse here. It's a flannel style purse. And Abercrombie and Fitch. Don't sleep on that brand. It's just a mall brand, as they say, but it does sell for some decent money. We just picked up a, a belt, a leather belt from the bins that should sell for around 25 
Okay, and then next up on my account is more free people, guys. Look at this cool piece. This is so cool. It's a snake skin shoulder, like little crossbody bag. Super cute, sold for $20.81. It's got like a magnetic closure, really cute. Super cool. That was, I mean, I don't even, this probably doesn't even weigh eight ounces. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Denim and Supply. This oh. is a Ralph Lauren label. Um, one that you want to get acquainted with if you never found it before. They don't make this uh, label anymore, but it's popular. It's called uh, Denim and Supply. It's a little unassuming. Uh, not to be confused with like Cloth and Stone and some of these other brands that sound similar. But this is a Ralph Lauren piece and it sold for $45 plus shipping. All right, and for the grand finale, I found something at the bins a couple of months ago and I took it to the cleaners and wanted to have it clean. I'm just gonna give you a little backstory about it because you guys should know. It's so vintage that the cleaners wanted me to sign a waiver to have it dry clean because they didn't know if the chemicals would ruin, the chemicals that they use would ruin this fabric. So I opted not to have it cleaned, to just have it pressed. So, grand finale. And I will also state that uh, the reason why this took two months to sell is probably took us about a month to get it to the cleaners. It hasn't been up in our store for, it's been up in our store for less than a month. A 1960s vintage postal wow. uniform. Take a look at this yeah. very uh, cool, oops, on this side. This side. There's the patch. That's the patch. And in the inside too, here, let's show them what it says on the tag. In the inside here, I hope you guys can see that. It says letter carrier. Now, and these buttons on here, can you hold the pants for me? On the, those buttons here, let me show you. I'm trying to show you guys really close. So you can see. It is just so cool. So much detail. Awesome, awesome piece. I can't even believe I found it together. So this sold. For two hundred and ten dollars, whoops, plus shipping. And let me share with you a little bit of a listing uh, tip and technique on this. Technically, you're not allowed to sell items uh, from oh. the post office, from Amazon, from UPS, uh, primarily because they don't want people to impersonate postal workers. Uh, that could be very dangerous, and uh, you know, all kinds of fraud can happen and take shape uh, when you have someone posing as a UPS driver or a postal worker. But what I did um, in the title, which I think helped us sell this and not uh, have it uh, get kicked off of eBay, is the first thing I said is this is uh, historical. I put historical uh, letter carrier 60s, post department uniform. So I didn't start with post department uniform. I started with historical and I thought like maybe any reasonable person, if they got flagged, um, or if the eBay algorithm, you know, just maybe pulled it, they would see that word historical and they'd realize, okay, this is uh, not the kind of uh, uniform you can throw on and pretend <laughs> you work for the post office now. Uh, we've all seen the more modern versions and they don't look like a, almost like a military suit. I think they wear shorts. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, for sure they do. So that's everything that we sold for over $20. Uh-huh. And thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us. And if you like us and if you like content like this, we have more videos to come. So don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and leave comments. I'd like to know what you guys sold this week and what was the highest price item you sold? What do you think? Yeah. Well, I'd love to hear. Or, the, or a unique item that you sold. Something that you didn't even think you could sell. We would love to hear about it. Love to hear the bolos out there. Yeah, please. All right, until next time. Bye.